Hey everyone, Rushlock here with episode, I believe, 13 of Alpha 2 Omega. Let's get everything started here. The character is starting off today with 125 million. And if you haven't done so already, make sure the subscribe button down below. Also, all the useful links and documents that we're using for the run can be found below the video as well. Uh, checking the wallet for 125 confirmed. Let's undock and see if we can get good. We've got like three pockets we're going to check here quickly before downtime. And hopefully run them again after downtime. And go from there. Mr. Frosty and Nesbit, hope you're both doing well. Let's get into Diddle. Let's get our sound flipped around as well. Let's hang out in Ghosty Chat. Right up until you're ready to go live. We've got our Discord post up. New YouTube video goes live, and I think in 20 minutes. I think episode 9 goes live today on YouTube. Alright, three SIGs go KB7. This is still in high sec. Just gonna put this in tripwire and make sure it's still functioning. Everything looks good. Awesome. But Nesbit and Frosty, hope you're doing well. What are you up to today? What are you working on? We're gonna do the uh, Alpha to Omega episode, and then after downtime, there should be an event live. And hopefully, all the bugs will be worked out. Well, the bugs won't be worked out, but. Hopefully things will stabilize by the time we finish our alpha run and we can find out if we're going to do Faction Warfare, if we're going to do the event, or if we can do the event in Faction Warfare. All kinds of stuff and things to look forward to. Skating the wormhole chain, very good Mr. Frosty. Keep an eye out for that scumbag Vinegar Duche and his Cretan underlings, the Wormhole PD, looking to murder wormhole dwellers such as yourself. Nesbitt's running a level 4 and a Navy Raven. Very good, Nesbitt. Are you going for standings? Or are you just, is this your chill, casual relaxation time or what? Hey, Rabusa. Welcome back. See, Epic Dragon still have just over an hour. For what, Epic Dragon? Downtime's in like an hour. And, oh, yeah, this one's saying, yeah, yeah. An hour and, and change. Oops. Oh, no. Bought my desk. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the time change, Epic Dragon. Three SIGs. Tripwire says... All three are unknown. Hello. Three chances to get good. Probes are out. Get the scan started. So just chilling. Earn a little ISK and LP. Yep. I need to spend time on... Simplifying the LP conversion system. Or at least my understanding of it, so that I can help others more easily convert LP into items. Even if they're going to high-sec buyback it. Yeah, dragging all the different regions, doing it at different times is super clunky. Uh, let's go here. I could have swore I heard them talking about, in this area, getting rid of it, but... That was all last year, so I'm guessing it didn't go through. Acid, good morning. Hope you're doing well. So we got a crappy data site. Let's go back to 1 AU on this dot. We're prepping our route before downtime. For those who don't know, you can run uh, sites before downtime starting at about 16, 17 minutes. As long as it's less than an hour before downtime. If you don't finish the site, if you leave at least one can untouched, the site will reroll its loot tables after downtime. It'll refill the cans that you hacked with new loot. The cans you don't hack will also get new loot. Uh, another data site we don't care about. Let's go back to 1AU. I don't know which one of these was further away. We'll try this one first. The Midnight Hour, welcome back. Glad you could join us again. Oh no, it's Lemon with the Rhymes, let's see. The girls say wow, the guys say whoa. I just made profit for my BP. <laughs> now Lemon, is this like a, uh, an unusual event? Like, do you, are, have you been like trying to dig out of the hole of BPO addiction this whole time and now you've got one 
making the dang profit, or was this just a convenient rhyme today? Also works for escalation if one wanted to know. So, I have some awareness of this epic dragon, but I'm under the impression that when you kill the rat that drops the, the quote-unquote good loot, that the site will then despawn. Or are you talking about escalations that have like multiple drops in them? As long as you don't kill the, the trigger rat. Sister's probes in an Amicus. Disgusting. This is an old fucking CVA cog member nerd. Hold on. Hold. Yeah, there's a cog. Omni Galactic. Go here. Go there. Let's see if this nerd will respond. They left local? Jesus fuck. 3C, first one today to sneak points in for the large skill injector giveaway. Thank you, 3C. For anyone who doesn't know, down below chat is a red button that says get good. Click it. Get your points in for the community challenge. The large skill injector giveaway currently at 38%. I actually sold items that I manufactured today. Lemon, the dream. Escalation for the null site, as long as you leave the last room. Yeah, the last room. So it only matters if um, other rooms have relevant drops in them. And some of them do. Some do. Oh, awesome acid. Congrats. Some sacrileges and devoters came off the production line. Felt so good. Now, acid and lemon, do you source your raw materials or do you gather yourself? How does that work for you? <laughs> Epic dragon, yep. Just farm the same uh, cherry picked level 4 mission. Wormhole data. Alright, let's pull this in. EY goes into TU. So I gotta remember if, if I can tell Apollo that Kiki was in local today. <coughs> oh no, frame drops. Frame drops, by the way. And monitoring it, but F5 refresh as needed. There we go. I noticed when I logged in, uh, well I came to work today, I was doing some speed tests. So we had some colder weather come through. And uh has been unhappy so far. We'll get our prep work done and just see where the morning takes us. Worst case scenario, we'll work on some recordings today. So I purchased raw materials and compress your only so I can join PvP fleets so more active gameplay, then refine, react it, and spreadsheets galore. Yep. Gather my own materials, got a sister corp in Null to buy the harder source stuff. Hey, very good, Lemon. It seems like it was just like a week or two ago, Lemon. You were just like piling up BPOs with like no... No output lines going. And now, look at you. Love having sell orders on the market because I can never predict when the green ding appears. <laughs> Give me that dopamine and the awareness, Lemon. The awareness. Give me that dopamine ding. A little sound notification. Whoop! Something sold. Just feels good. Spreadsheets anonymous <laughs> acid. Oh my goodness, we're dropping so many frames. I don't know if I can do anything about it though. Let's take a look. Settings. Outputs. I'll lock it down to two for now. Let's see if that helps with stability at all. Put that over there, delete the old. Uh, T is going to go into Y9. Let's go this way. So I've got like 70 skill books up for sale every once in a while. <laughs> a little team with some money. Now, where are the skill books coming from, Nesbit? J getting points in for the 12th time on that LSI giveaway. Thank you, J. Alright, lowered the bit rate. It seems to be behaving for now. We'll see if it continues to hold at least. 
We've only been live 10 minutes and it's dropped like 13% of frames, so... Certainly less than ideal. Let's go to BW. There were skill books that you invested in a while ago. So there were skill books that you picked up maybe when they were new to the game, but you got them from drops or something? I don't know. Oh, like the last time you played Eve, gotcha. See, Lemon, I've realized that skill books are a decent moneymaker in Faction Warfare. So do you find that players go straight from wherever, straight to Faction Warfare, and then they're... they're in demand of... Uh, strange... Oh, I don't know. Where are you selling them? Are you selling them in Faction Warfare, or... Because I, I kind of assume those nerds would just come back and make, like, the five or six jumps back to a hub. Lunchbox up early, or up late lunchbox. Which kind of unethical activity is going on here? With a legitimate Dodge Kappa, first thing in the morning. We'll see if the Dodge Kappa meta is awake enough to catch lunchbox today. I had no risk again, so I spent all of my LP on skill books and sold to Vegeta. Oh, 11. <laughs> Lunchbox Insomnia for the lose. Uh-oh. It's a late night, never-ending night for Lunchbox. Ivan, good morning and happy Tuesday. Uh, let's get into XHQ. So I got my problem with my skill books from the LP. Gotcha. Alright, we've cleared out our first pocket. Bunch of data sites so far. But in the Magnate, we can only run one analyzer. It only has three mid slots. Prop mod, analyzer, and probe strength module. Though I'm curious if we simulate. And drop this. We get 72 pro Okay, so we get a mid slot back. We have we we can cherry pick with the magnate if we want to. Very interesting. We're gonna have to look into that. Let's go to Jeeve. That's less B. Likely to be camped this early. Plus, Intec R is over there. We want to get that prepped and scouted. Most annoying thing is there's only, there's one low sex system between Amar and Faction Warfare's face and Jita, and it's always got a huge gate camp on it. Yep. That happened after the uh, Triglavian event years ago. Yeah, I would expect the implants to, to be a, a nice high demand item. Because it's almost like a durable good. Or at least I, I expect that they get blown up fairly often. Where a skill book is like a one and done. Alright, at least one active nerd and local. Let's go here. Make sure we make a trip tripwire. Make a bookmark in this system this time. One nerd left. Bookmark made. All right, looks like lowering the bitrate made things fine. We'll do a speed test later and see if we can get it to behave better. D-Scan has an Astero, a Stiletto, RSS core probes on D-Scan. Some sweaty nerd is in here with RSS probes. Probably the, the Astero pilot? What a weird boy. Let's get an NR. This is where the SIGs can pile up. No SIGs in here at the moment. Hey, Cynic. It's been a while. Hope you've been doing well. What have you been up to? Who owns the skyscraper in Shillville? Crobat. I'll type the name for you. Crobat. Nerds can tear down the skyscraper. If they so choose. They can PvP his blocks down. But to my knowledge, no one's ever, ever PvP'd Shillville blocks yet. We've got K Penguin's Penguin. Balrog's Pits. Shill. Elderwolf's Jeep. Lemon's Paywall, Shad's River, Genie's Frog, Archon's Police Station for Vinny. That's a lot of SIGs. That's not I mean a lot, a lot, but some of the prep. Let's see. They're all unknown to me. I've got active nerds and local with RSS probes. Oh my god. It's the Stiletto that has them. Okay. It was not the Astero. Let's let this nerd go ahead and scan. Been no life in the PoE. Very good, Cynic. And getting your teeth kicked in. Hey, Neutronia. Ass, I'm going to put a nub on the paywall. <laughs> yeah, for anyone who wants to get their plots claimed in Shillville, the Shillville command has all the details of how to claim your plots and build on it. Right? Exactly, Neutronia. Someone's out there sweating the... 
the expensive probes out here. All right, now that I know I can get rid of my, my mid slot. Got three unknown SIGs, let's go here. Probes out. Also keep in mind we've got the nerd right behind us, so if they don't find a relic behind us, they're gonna come over here quick. A Patreon shout out first thing in the morning from Nesbit. Let's go. If anyone doesn't know about Patreon, it's an alternative subscription service where we get to keep 95% of the proceeds. Unlike Twitch, we get to keep less than half of it. So our goal this year is to become less dependent on Twitch revenue and build up our Patreon and tip button usage. So if you'd like to help out, keep the channel going full time, that is the most direct way to do so. Also for the Eve Nerds, every new dollar on Patreon is a 100 millionist giveaway. No hits! What is this? Make sure we're centered on it. We had a new Patreon supporter yesterday. We lost a VIP overnight, though. So we're at 40... Well, almost 25%. Our new Patreon supporter yesterday was Acid, of course. Plus one nerd and local. Let's go here. Uh, let's go ahead and pre-align NR. Make my bookmark on the way through. And thank you, Nesbit, keeping us focused on the shill. Data site, gross. Move these over here. The scan shows a falcon. Alright, the falcon should be moving through then. There's the relic site level 3. Definitely want to bookmark that and probably not hack it for like 4 more minutes. But the likelihood of it still being here after downtime is nominal with all the traffic out here. The other emo redemption, what's the thing you do? Just rotate it, etc. There's some other like um, redemptions you can or modifications to it, like some some images that can be laid over it. Let's scan this side. Control B. Bookmark made. Alright, we're gonna have to be quick on this site. Oh god, okay, we're fine. Everything's fine? Stiletto on D-scan. Go here and scan there. And slow boat there for now. Another nerd in local. A nid is in local now, with a falcon probably. Stiletto's not dropped probes on us yet. Another relic site, that one's level 1. You over there. We're in range for the hack. Nerd and local is asking for a cherry picker. I said there's no room in a magnate. Grab a polymorphic shield. There's the core. Nothing in the can, Jesus. Fuck. Punch off. Let's bookmark both these sites. All right, put this in tripwire. I'm Pacific, it says. Destroy, please. They're saying they're a pacifist? I don't get it. Uh, where am I? I want to go in our... Boxes all. You chased me off site. There we go. Remember, always put work on their desk. Now, I hacked the cam before the one hour notification, so that site's probably not going to respawn after downtime. Epic Dragons, how does Patreon work? Does it take it out monthly, weekly, or per video? Um, different Patreons can set things up differently. Mine is set up for... Um, sorry, I went the wrong direction. Uh, mine is set up for monthly. And then after that, it's customizable. Like, 
It can be less than, equal to, or greater than a Twitch sub. That's up to the to the user. <laughs> Lemon. Lemon getting points in for the eighth time. Thank you very much. Let's go to K1 DNR. Warp drive active. Solstice, welcome back. Yep, exactly, Acid. That Prime Gaming. If anyone in chat has Amazon Prime, what is it? Prime? If you have Amazon Prime, you have Prime Gaming as well. But you have to manually redeem your rewards, so. Is it in Australian dollars? Is it odd USD? Do what now, Epic Dragon? Are you asking if it's in Australian or USD? It's in USD, but like any currency, well, I shouldn't say any, but most currencies can, can go through Patreon. It does all the conversions on its side. And then it displays to me uh, the currency and the amounts. So if I need to, I can always calculate it. But the, like, VIP thing, right? It's like, the amount doesn't matter. But if somebody were to go for the VIP badge, for example, then they'd have to calculate their, their conversion for wherever their currency is to, to USD to find out what is equal to 10. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, those VAT taxes, right? Two signatures here. Let's bounce off the sun. Well, actually, I know this nerd's active, so let's go and straighten Jeeve. Get that over there. Delete the old. All right, we're good to go. The scan is clear. The site just despawned. Interesting. This pack has been cleared out. I don't know, we'll have to um, ping Bush Kitty. See what it tells him. Alright, Jeeve goes XHQ, then we're going to go into Ysel. Alright, so we can drop... Well, yeah. We can drop the mid slot or... Simulates, drop the rig, goes to 69. So yeah, dropping the, the mid slot makes more sense. Yeah, Gnosis broadsword hitting out. They drop the bubble in time. Uh-oh. Time to reship, everybody. There's the web and the deletes. This is uh, Haze and Mats. Let's get the good fight in local. Breaks on here so we can get blap faster. We got a friend coming in for the pod. Uh, self destruct. There we go. I'm sure I was waiting for their buddy to get on the, the kill mail. I don't know how much they're expecting the, an alpha pod to be worth, but they want to make sure just in case. <laughs> 3C. <laughs> So we'll be reshipping here in a moment. Burning back down. Ransom for pod. You'd have to pay me. <laughs> it's an alpha. Oh, a gate camp. So nice seeing a gate camp, right, Solstice? This isn't even the regular one. This is not even the flycatcher. Send... 50 mil, and I'll spare. <laughs> Look at that dank damage application. Look at that. That's some that's some trigger control. You wouldn't see something like this in the in the wormhole PD. They would have sneezed and killed the the pot immediately. All right, let's reship. We have no loot to worry about, so. Just buy all. But we can make that modification. We can drop the mid slot and grab a cargo scanner. 
and we'll be more efficient. Uh, you can go away, buy these, assemble, make active, throw you in there, fits, and fits, and then cargo scanner. So overpriced, look at this stuff. So expensive. All right, take a look at our fits. Boom, easy. Get our probes loaded. All right, we have 72 probe strength still with the cargo scanner. It's gonna be easy game, easy life now. Let's get into Diddle. Set Desto and go. Acid, thank you for the lurk. We've got that going on over there. Let's go here. Get off this first grid. Warp drive active. Uh, Solstice, as long as you have the subscriber badge, you can post links whenever you like. Now I can't play anything while I'm streaming, but if you're sharing with chat in general, that's totally fine. <laughs> nice butt clip. Is that what Solstice misses the most from, from their Eve days? Maybe that's why they were holding the pod so long, Solstice. They want to make sure they got the perfect camera angle. 3C, the second legitimate Dodge Kappa today. Lunchbox and 3C now have both Dodge Kappa. It's early. We'll see if the, the Dodge Kappa meta is awake enough yet to catch those later on. Uh, looks like the frame droppage is fine now. We're going to burn back. we got plenty of time before downtime. We've got 50 minutes easy. We're going to go check the G5 pipe. Solstice, I've noticed that not all corpse butts look equal. Now, is that like a gender to gender comparison, or is that separate from that solstice? How much of your preferences are over overlapping there? Warp drive active. The female butts generally look better. Now, is this like subjective, or, or is this empirical? What if not all butts are equal in all eyes, solstice? Could this be your biased opinion, or, or do you think there's some kind of like empirical element to it? Come on, Souls, we need data on that. Exactly, right? You can't just throw things like that out there and not be able to articulate. Maybe I'm biased. Okay, well, I mean, it's good that you can acknowledge it, right? I think most folks of, of, of any gender or orientation would, would typically agree with that statement, Solstice. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> oh, so Solstice, if it wasn't Eve, remind me, we were having this conversation the other day, what brought you to Twitch in, in, originally? And then you said you stumbled upon Vinny's uh, stream. Like, you, I don't think you were even searching Eve specifically. Warp drive active. Trackmania Nations Forever. Is that a video game? That's not the name I clicked. Where'd the guy go? Oh. There's a name of Steepa, and I wonder if it was from the Last Kingdom books. Trackmania Nations Forever is a game. Alright. Am I going to regret this? Go to Twitch, Track Mania. Hello? Now I found Track Mania. Nations Forever. Now when I search that, nothing comes up. 
So I'm guessing it's just Trackmania. Or is it is the directory? The racing franchise from Ubisoft uh, Nadio is back with the most compelling remake of Trackmania Nations. Have you caught a... There's people streaming this live right now? About as many people as Eve. It looks like um, Rocket League, but racing. Have you seen Vinny do Wreckfest before? It's really good, got a successor now, but people still play it. Been watching world record runners, attempts, etc. Huh. It's a name I've not heard in a hot while since Lemon. Both of you are familiar with it. I've never even heard of it before. It's on the Epic Launchers, exclusively Inferno War. That would explain probably why I hadn't heard of it. Trackmania is a successor to Nations Forever. Okay. So people do the Nations Forever content under the Trackmania directory, I presume. Didn't know Wreckfest existed before Vinny showed it to us on stream. Gotcha. Trackmania is really good. It's a successor to Stunts from the early 90s. Which is interesting because there's a new game coming out called Stuntfest. From the makers of Wreckfest, who are from uh, Flat Out series. I don't know if you're familiar with any of those. It's got the, some of the most entertaining speedruns in it with the custom tracks people make. So it sounds like uh, Mario Maker, but but like racing. Which reminds me of, this is old days, NES days, um, Excite Bike. Excite Bike was probably one of my most repeatedly rented games as a kid. I couldn't play enough of it. Stunts was such a fun game as a kid, I sucked at it, but it was still fun. That's how I felt about Excite Bike, like... I was like single digit number of years old and just screwing around with it. Trackmania is serious business. Virtual, the biggest Trackmania streamer I'm aware of, pulls around 7,000 viewers on average. Holy crap. Yeah, no idea that that was so huge. Can anyone confirm? Is it exclusively on uh, Epic? Pretty much the way the track maker works always reminds me of slot car tracks. Yep, that's what I was thinking too. There's even an Austrian world record holder for some tracks. Is it unusual for an Austrian to hold world records? Solstice? I don't get it. I think I had the Excite Bike on C64, if that was the thing. I don't know. I'm only familiar with it from NES. Uh, Excite Bike C64. Moda Modaman. Excite Bike clone for Commodore 64. So I guess it was called Modaman on that platform. At least according to a quick Google, anyway. Let's go to KB7. Let's go to here. Prop pack. There we go. Well, Austria is small, not many people, so it is indeed unusual. Okay. I've seen some crazy track media speedruns, even though I haven't played the game, I find the speedruns inter interesting. There is a Trackmania on Steam, not sure which one. Oh, Nations. Nations is on Steam, okay. The modern one is exclusive to Epic, but also free to play. Ooh, now you have my attention. Now I've played Excite Bike on NES at a friend's house, true. Uh, let's go XHQ. No nerds in here yet. Trackmania is what made me fully aware of the difference between 60 Hz, 120 Hz, and 165 Hz. From playing or from watching streams. Nesbitt. Got distracted. Wasn't paying attention. Rip four drones. Is this on the Navy Raven? I didn't know drones were relevant to the Navy Raven. From playing at Solstice. Gotcha. And that's in reference to the refresh rate of a display, I presume. So why so? No one's over in Jeeve yet. Well, we're not in Jeeve, we're in XHQ. Drones are good for getting the stuff that gets too close. Oh, like the small targets, probably. Chuck Norris back in local. This is the Astero pilot from before. I don't know they're coming in or out of the, uh, the gate we're heading towards. It's going to be a super short episode if I get everything prepped before downtime with a bunch of time to kill. We'll switch to Faction Warfare. 
to a few sites before downtime. Learn that we all have been capped in our brain processing power without even realizing it. We've been conditioned. No SIGs. Let's go to 9FOB. My brain's processing power has been offloaded to my phone and PC. Oh no. Let's get a bookmark here. Let's see what this one is. More junk. Junk. Why is the server pinging again? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a data site from yesterday. Damn. Nerds are just saying no to data sites. I like it. When you watch something at 120 hertz compared to 60, it feels like it's slower. But that's what's actually happening is that the brain processes more in the same time frame. Which also allows for quicker decision making and proper training translates into real world too. It's all fascinating, huh? I've always heard things more about like FPS stuff, and it's like, eh, like I can't see it, I don't notice it, so it doesn't mean anything to me. But you get the people who are like really into it, and they're like, no, no, I'm dropping like three frames, and and my brain is freaking out. It's like, okay, you might need to go outside. When's the last time you touched grass? And they're like, no, you don't understand. Like I, I didn't say that. I did understand. You're just concerning me. I'm, I'm just getting worried here. Maybe it's time to touch some grass. Let's check 4B and see if Mansford's up and running yet. The best part of riding is the bit where I go... Oh, get to salvage all the gooey loot. <laughs> you know what's wild? In Nullsec, it, it's, it's actually better typically to move on to the next site. And, you know, it's getting the, the bounties in. But there's something, like, dopamine-related, right? About going back to the site and cleaning up all the wrecks and gathering up all the loot and... What system do we die in, by the way? In Jeeve. Okay, so they're, they're, they're camping the, the ball neck. Oh, there's a Mansfred. Let's burn back real quick. Let's put these on tripwire. Mansfred's probably camping the uh, 90Y gate. <laughs> what kind of grass <laughs> uh, Let's get into Y so. I have an ox now, and by all that is holy, I will use it, says Lemon. <laughs> now, what ratting are you doing, Lemon? Is this from... Because you, you have contacts in Null, but I'm under the impression you're not in Null, so... Is he cleaning up a mission run, or... She does my sec ratting. Not being that bold, I gotcha. So these are high sec anomalies, I presume. Combat anomalies. Uh, let's go XHQ. Necrotic, welcome back. 4K cargo. Damn, Solstice. Back in 2010. I started 09. Played for about a year and a half. Took a break. Came back 2013. Played for about a year. Took a break. Then came back 2016. Been on ever since. Seriously, is live. I'm lost in Eve, and I've come to ask questions. And the question, what is the question? You tell us what the question is. Seriously, I hope you're doing well. It has been too long. What have you been up to? This thing is new. This wasn't here before. Let's go here first. It's not too small to be a hackable site. See, not much, not much. Working our real life, being busy, the usual. Well, it's better than the alternative. Alright, let's go to 1 AU. Is that near Celestial? Yeah. Be a relic. Be the relic. Be a level 4 relic site where we get fat paid before downtime. We 
get to cherry pick the site, we get to bookmark it and run it again after downtime, be all the things. Not exactly, Lemon. We've seen many an event go by. Well, that's the entire adrenaline rush. So you heard there's a war, so doing what every goon does, and that's come back when there's a war. <laughs> Answered the call. Heard the horn. The, ho the horn of Gundor has been sounded. Uh, tripwire, Inferno. Uh, tripwire. There you go. I might have to make a new video for that one. Seems a lot of people struggle with getting their character added in. I guess I should watch my old video for it and see what it does and doesn't mention. This was just a crappy data site, by the way, so. KB goes into Diddle, then Chunka, and then Doc. See? It happens. 40 minutes. Explo. Plenty of sites and systems checked. No loot. Sometimes you just don't find anything. But where a lot of people would, like, dwell on that and, and be negatively impacted by it, you just move on to something else. Hey, Weathered. Speaking of longevity, you were the first person I watched play EVE years ago and got me to dive in, back after a long break. Might even have been recruited, or RAF, on my first account. Damn, Weathered. So anyone's account who's old and didn't have referrals back then, if you use the, the link now, CCP will give you a million skill points. So if you ever have an account that you're not sure if it, if it has a referral link to it, you can use someone's referral, and they'll give you the million skill points. That was crazy, Weathered. Let me click your name and see what it says. Uh, Twitch says, you created your account in 2018, you followed here in January 2020, see? It's crazy to me, we were almost four years in when you found the channel for, for EVE, like four years into our EVE run. I want to see what our redeem is too for the character, maybe losing ships. Let's park you here for the moment. Drive we'll see what we can get done. We can probably get at least two sites done in Faction Warfare, I think, before downtime. I haven't timed my site runs, just because the waves are so different. But something I need to track for Faction Warfare and see how long it takes to clear those sites. I was going to slam some SP in the Galente Cruiser 5 for that character. Alright, park this one here. Let's get uh, the redeemable here. Let's see what this is. Hack 20 containers of Nullsec. Oh, okay. What's in the container, though? Isk? Hey, we'll take it. Uh, we'll hold the range finding off till later. Redemption. Cool. Let's go to 115 in the spreadsheet. Get that updated. We're doing Alpha to Omega, for those who are not aware. Chat gets to pick which Empire we play for Alpha to Omega. The uh, sheet is linked in the Twitch chat and below the video on YouTube. For those who want to keep track of which Empire is winning. Uh, but we're going to timestamp this for a new episode, and we'll get flipped around in just a moment. 314. 